do you think that this development of the smart grid will allow for 100% renewable energy in Europe? We were quite surprised to find that uh, with some elements of demand response with interregional connection, you could balance 80% renewables on the grid. And then we looked at whether or not across the board in Europe 100% renewables might, might be possible. And we, we came to the conclusion that with the introduction of North African solar and with some enhanced geothermal technologies, it would be technically feasible, um, but it would be more expensive. Fundamentally, there's no reason why even the larger mankind in a more industrialized state should not be able, given the ample supply of energy coming in from the sun to the earth, to do this. Technically, it's not a problem. Scientifically, it's not a problem either. But it's a massive social problem, the whole thing. Because I guess in a transformation of that scale, you will not only create winners. There's going to be a few people who stand to lose quite a bit in that transformation process, as has happened with any other industry transformation in the past. There will be some losers. There will be around a few cities. There will be some hotspots in Europe where we create this environment, and it will not be in every city, but the entire Europe will benefit from it. Where are the ideas about where are we going to get it from? That's what, I, you know, what, that's what I'm missing in, the, in this discussion. You can produce locally what you need at your village through sun and wind and produce clean water and services that are needed for the population. If you can bring this into a smart system that is very cost efficient, that is, there are the challenges. And I think there are, I think we may produce maybe solar panels in 10 years from now, which do it entirely different cost. And of course, that will entirely change the scheme. The same if you could improve, for example, the storage, electric storage by a factor of 10. I mean, that would be something. One way to facilitate the introduction of new products and new ideas and supporting new businesses would be for the government, for example, to help create the necessary infrastructure for proving those ideas together with a company like GE. That's a fantastic idea. That's often in, in North America and even in Europe. That's what makes these little companies into successful businesses. It's partnering with whether it be the utility, hopefully then they can, they can get an OEM in the mix as well to help them to learn how to design out costs. Um, so these partnerships are incredibly important. It's it, the skills that are needed to actually bring something to scale go way beyond the ability of a startup company. We need governments to work together. We need regions to work together. We need to get much, much smarter at the sort of bottom-up energy approaches that will create regional markets and uh, the opportunity to have smart demand-side management and interregional interconnection. It's much less now uh, the question, uh, you do this, you do that, but the, the question is, what can you do to contribute? And actually, after a few hours of discussions, quite often we have a European way forward, uh, and it's much quicker than having... Uh, complicated uh, governing structures with plenty of committees and rules, etc. Innovation needs to happen basically in all the different segments, if you will, of that energy generation portfolio. So be it nuclear, be it coal-fired plants, be it uh, wind or solar photovoltaic or concentrated solar power as well. Uh, for, on the renewable side, which gets, for good reason, the most attention, wind definitely is the one that's most mature. I think there will be wind and there will be solar and there will be uh, nuclear, and there will be, of course, as Carlos says, a mix of different I think sources. This will, yeah. And I think is, this is a part of the sustainable solution. Let's slow down. You have to look at each part of, of, the, of the value chain and each part where you generate power, where you can really achieve sustainability on a long-term perspective. I think that is a really important thing.